putting her fingers into the the, the slits of my <laughs> jeans and touching my thighs. I'm like, yeah. okay, I was using Tinder. This is a yeah. fuck, fucking hilarious story, but I got banned. I'm really? Like, I, I didn't do okay? anything dirty. Yeah, I didn't do anything dirty. Downloaded all these apps, mm. went on a plethora of like swiping sprees. She's already like hella touchy and all over me. I'm mm. like, what the hell is going on? Three, two, one. And we are live, sorta. Welcome, guys. This is episode, I think, five or six on the Broke the Habit podcast. My name is Peter, and you guys are voyeuristically joining me on this pseudo first date. And I have my lovely friend here, Jamie. And uh, just to uh, break it up a little bit, just to calm my nerves, because usually I'm the one that like stutters and like is a big mess. Are you a fan of Brian McKnight? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. One and two and three. It's been six, six months, months, eight, eight, twelve so, hours. Did, too big. Wait, are you at like a what? different octave than I am? Yeah, I'm high. I, I, I sing higher. It's been, Cause like, okay. It's, okay, ready? Okay, we'll, we'll do it. Okay. <laughs> three, two, one. It's, it's been, been six months, months eight, eight days, days, 12 hours, hours since, since you've been, you've been away. away. <laughs> I miss, I miss you so, so much, much and, and I, I don't, don't know, know what, what to say. To say. <laughs> something could have been over I should have, I should be it, over you. Something, something. You. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so uh, thank you for uh, bringing, coming on to my uh, podcast here. So uh, my first question is, um, what were your overall first, because I've tried to get girls on here, mm. but the minute that I tell them, like, hey, check out my uh, personal YouTube channel, yeah. I usually get ghosted. And I'm like, I don't take it personally, but it kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hmm. But uh, yeah, what what were your first thoughts of uh, my content? And like, what made you decide to jump on? Um, okay, well, yes, I can I'm totally understand, like, where other people are coming from that I usually would just say no, because I feel mm-hmm. like I'm really, like... I don't know if I want to be out in like public on yeah. a podcast or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but then I don't know. I just had this feeling inside me that I was just like, why don't you try it? Like, I mean, if it's not for you, or if you don't like want to do it again, you don't need to. Mm-hmm. But yeah, kind of. Please just don't ever make risk. me take down this video. I, I'll, I'll just blur out your face. I'll put like a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I just feel like I was like, why not? Just try it out, and it's usually out of my comfort zone, but yeah, yeah. we out here so. Yeah. One thing I noticed is like you're really chill laid back as much more mm-hmm. it like it balances me out because I'm like more like if you nervous, I'm I, I'm I'm even like more of a nervous wreck. Okay, <laughs> so let's get straight into this. What were okay. your first impressions? Like you don't remember my profile, but what <laughs> what made you want to chat? Um okay, I'm trying to or like, swipe. Remember the your profile or, or there's just too many coming at you like too many matches oh nah no nah, i feel <laughs> like <laughs> like i mean already itself like with like yeah. apps like i'm not really always on it but i was yeah. just curious about it um but yeah like i mean you mentioned also on your your profile like yeah, yeah. like you do content creating and stuff and i always thought it was interesting like to mm-hmm. at least like meet a person or like have a conversation about like you know content creating um just because i always feel like me being in like working in the office and all of that like it's something different and it's just like a different perspective mm-hmm. so um yeah so i was like this stuff is pretty cool because you yeah, got you linked your instagram i remember on your profile um yeah i usually don't list my personal mm-hmm. pro- like i it's, it's it's usually if i trust you enough and like i kind of like come out of the closet you feel me <laughs> yeah. like, i don't want to leave all my shit out there in the public as mm. is but I've, I've thought about it is from, from your perspective if, if you, we were to like rematch and i put my personal personal channel on there would that yeah. change how you would view me um i don't think so i think it's like it's mad respect already just like mm-hmm. putting yourself out there like you know your perspective on things um and just you know having a voice and it should be you should be able to use your voice um yeah. out there but yeah, I just thought that it was very interesting to see that, you know, it does take courage to mm-hmm. do that. I know, appreciate that. I, <laughs> yeah. Someone that gets it. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's get, don't, don't expose exactly your location and the actual like, mm. title and everything, but uh, tell me mm. about how old you are, if you're comfortable with that, sure. what you do, what you want to do in life. Cause like, mm. think about this as like, if, if you were to like actually go on a date, 
mm-hmm. date date. Yeah. Like the specific questions you ask, like the normal like icebreaker type of things. Yeah. Okay. So I am 24. Um, 25 this year? I, yes, 25 this year. And scary I'm, or no? <laughs> Quarter I'm, century? <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Like, I mean, yeah. who knows? It comes closer to my birthday. Yeah. Um, that might change. Mm-hmm. But right now I'm feeling like I'm chill. Okay. Yeah. 25 is like around the corner. Yeah. I work in yeah in an office, so I do like order um, management, admin. So it's kind of just processing orders and all of that. Like Monday to Friday. Um, what was the other questions? <laughs> um, if- where do you see yourself, or what what are your dreams and aspirations? You know, the typical interview questions. Yeah. Um, so this kind of like kind of goes more into like depth because I've been yeah. kind of thinking about this more, like especially in January, just like my purpose and like. Yeah my dreams and stuff and I don't know if you watch this the movie uh soul the Pixar movie oh yeah hell yeah 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 Yeah, um and like I was like kind of like thinking about like where do I want to go with my life like career-wise and like what do I want to do and feeling like pressure like yeah like I'm 25 I'm gonna be 25 soon like I feel like at least going and making decision in that sense of like what I really truly want to go into um and like yeah not being sure but at the same time like with watching that movie, it's like also living for the now. Mm-hmm. Um, and like your purpose doesn't just need to be defined by like your career. You know what I mean? Like if there's other aspects to it too. Um, so that's something I'm still figuring out, mm-hmm. um, especially because spirituality is kind of big with me. Gotcha. Um, it, it's all about like asking the right questions because there's that scene in Soul where um, that. I forgot that spirit's name or whatever was like talking to the barber and then it's like oh you you only yeah. talk to me about music and then yeah. the one time he asked the other questions like oh mm-hmm. yeah I have this whole other life mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyways totally, yeah <laughs> you know this is where you ask me any questions Wh- uh, who am I <laughs> yeah oh yeah yes yes <laughs> how um, rude so if you want to share how old are you how old are you and uh, how long have you been in the content creating scene yeah so if if you don't know who i am yet my name is uh peter i'm mm-hmm. uh, turning oh my god 29 this year almost mm. 30 i started creating videos when i was like 23 i was a okay. different person back then mm-hmm. and uh i'm getting 30 it doesn't feel like it like nothing really changes mm-hmm. you just mm-hmm. feel old as fuck mm-hmm. um yeah like if, if you want to creep me i can use like the tldr and you just creep my channel and then mm. you'll, you'll know a lot more mm-hmm Mm-hmm. And uh, what exactly were you on these apps looking for? What were your intentions? Uh, okay, well, I didn't really get on the apps until last year. I mean, I mm-hmm. kind of dabbled with like downloading it and like having it for a day and then deleting it. What's um, your stack? La- we're talking about like, um, we're talking about Tinder, Bumble, um, so Cupid, plenty of fish. Last year- <laughs> <laughs> okay, like in the beginning, I yeah. used Tinder because I guess I didn't really hear about Hinge. I don't know. Yeah, that was- yeah time but yeah i deleted it pretty quick um and then last year i was like okay let's give it a try this online dating thing because i'm i haven't really put myself out there yeah um so i thought like okay hinge i think i want to try hinge i haven't really gone on the other ones but i just felt like the amount of effort you're putting already in into the profile like with like the prompts and like all that stuff i felt like there i'd give it more of a chance what's your most preferred app so far from your memory? Um, I still think Hinge. I yeah. actually think, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Bumble I thought was kind of cool in the beginning, but I feel like I'm not creative with starting conversations sometimes. Yeah. Especially that's where, people. that's where you, uh, so so my experience with that is like, that's where you put um, human evolution on the flip side, where it's like, you, you make girls do the first move and then realize girls don't got no game. <laughs> with the first move, it's like, hi, hey, yeah, and if, and if you flip mm-hmm. the books and you make guys do that, like you, you, you ain't gonna get a response. But girls <laughs> can just say hi and hey, and it'll freaking work. So it's like, <laughs> true, it's true. But yeah, I think Hinge. I say yeah. Hinge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how about you? Like from your experiences on mm-hmm. apps, did you have a preferred one that you use? Uh, I was using Tinder. This is a f- yeah. Fuck- fucking hilarious story but i got banned really <laughs> I, went, I, I didn't do thing? anything dirty yeah i didn't do anything dirty but, I, <laughs> but what, I think happened? what happened was uh during the whole pandemic uh-huh. it was like um tinder allowed you to travel around the world type of thing okay and okay. i put my location to vietnam oh shoot okay 
And then once they rolled back that feature, uh-huh. my location was still left in Vietnam. So I'm like, huh, why oh, not? So I, I just kept <laughs> swiping for fun. And, and I think someone like reported me or something probably. Oh, but I'm like, wait, this fool is not even in the city. He's still in... <laughs> so that's why I think I'm bad. <laughs> so that's why I started using a uh, bubble board and hinge. Mm. And I think from my experience, I have more success uh-huh. on hinge where it's like you can have like their prompts and you can like talk to people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah it's helpful with the prompts like mm-hmm. i don't know mm-hmm. sometimes it's just like you can start the conversation from that or like when people do like the two truths and a lie kind of mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. if you're mm-hmm. interested then you can respond to that what's right? the most basic one you've got like you've seen the prompts because i've seen all the ones like pineapple on pe- I'm like, yeah i was gonna say that. <laughs> get the fuck out of here with that shit like, that. i know it's like okay we get it y'all don't like Pineapples on pizzas, or like, yeah, it's always says like, let's debate this topic. Yeah, pi- pizza. I'm like, okay, all right, <laughs> very original, guys. <laughs> okay, let's let's get to something more of the the juicier part. So, um, uh-huh. how how many? Actually, let's go with the worst date. <laughs> worst date. Yeah. Hmm. Any stories that come to mind? I feel like most of the dates i've been on like they haven't been bad like they weren't like like really really bad or anything like they were just okay yeah Uh, but i feel like you know if anything it's maybe like the conversation really more revolved around them like they didn't really ask me about Mm me um so then when i want to give us some examples um like i don't it's just like kind of like generic like you know you go out for dinner and then yeah like, I feel like I'm pretty good at like wanting to ask questions or like, and I am genuinely interested. It's not just like, yeah. <laughs> ask me now, you know what I mean? Um, so like I'd ask questions and it kind of would just be like, answer it like, yeah, I, I do this and I really like doing this and that's it. And, you know, like they just end, the, end mm-hmm. that. And then I'm like, okay, do I ask another question? Are you like, kind of trying to balance it out here? Like, do you want to know who I am? <laughs> um, <laughs> Cause I mean, like we're out here on this date. Uh, so it was like but, it was like a, hey I I work for this company I make this mm-hmm. much mo- amount of money I have a lot of projects and it just mm-hmm. kept on and on and on yeah, and yeah. like, what they about you about like sometimes I'm like oh yeah I forgot how about you and then like I'll answer and like okay I see and then it kind of just kind of goes quiet and it's just yeah. like okay so clearly like I want to try to like not fully have this awkward space so I'll try to ask another question but yeah. then again they'll just kind of go on a, on about it and mm-hmm. it's cool but like I mean I'd rather have a balance. <laughs> how 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 many of these meh people you've met? Like and on dates, like how many? How, yeah. how many meh dates? Um... In- including me, this one that's going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just continue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me think. I mean, I feel like there's been maybe like three, three or four, maybe with like different people. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Like, I mean, they seem like mm-hmm. nice people, but mm-hmm. I just, for me, I don't think it really clicks if it's mm-hmm. like there's no balance in the conversation. When, when, when you talk about not clicking, like, yeah. can, can, can you clarify that? Like, what, what do you mean? Is it like a gut instinct where it's like, eh, I'm not really feeling, there's no chemistry? Uh, I feel like I could give it a chance. Like if there was like no immediate chemistry, like, yeah if the conversation's interesting then maybe i could i'd be down for a second date but yeah. i do feel like it is like more gut for me like the vibe that comes off of them yeah i can sense that already like especially in person you're like mm, like i mean you're cool but maybe the same it mm-hmm. and yeah what do you tell yourself like like mid-date as, as this guy's like yapping away you're like oh hell no honey <laughs> 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 um i feel like I usually try to be present because I feel like usually my logical <laughs> mind is like, yo, this five ain't it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah like let's bounce now. <laughs> I like I've got my exit, I gotta take this, yeah. this. <laughs> Exactly. Um, so like usually I feel like I just give it the chance to like end when it does, like after yeah. the day, whatever. But yeah, I try to be present in that moment. Like even if they're not really listening or they're not really asking me any, anything, like I'll still like give them the chance to talk. I mean like I feel like I am very empathetic in that sense too. Like I maybe they just actually want someone to talk to, mm-hmm. and they need to, to talk. Like you know, express themselves, and it's fine. Um, but yeah. Have have <laughs> have 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 you made like ongoing like connections through these apps? Um, not really. I mean, I, yeah, not really. Like there's, I mean, there'd be like a few like 
um stragglers yeah yeah yeah, stragglers (laughs) on there but not that much I feel like yeah Yeah. sure like if it doesn't really work out with someone then we're like yeah it'd be cool being friends and stuff like sure like we'd follow each other or something like and then y'all kind of just yeah gotcha yeah yeah how about you have you like met anyone that's like okay Ooh, like we're going to we're going to we're going there eh? oh wait okay wait like backtrack backtrack okay, okay, like, we're okay. state we're state first we're state oh god i have this story but it's like this <laughs> literally because okay so what happened was um literally right out of a breakup my dumbass was like mm-hmm. sad boy mm-hmm. hashtag sad boy for life downloaded all these apps mm-hmm. went on a plethora of like swiping sprees <laughs> your boy it was so sad you know how fucking sad it was i even paid for the premium for like really? one month <laughs> paid for the premium? wow <laughs> not not only on hinge but like on hinge and bubble mm, that's that's, wow, that's on fucking, yeah man that was a desperate wow. ish <laughs> i can't believe i've been like, i'm exposing myself like that um but the thing is, like, it works, like, cause, like, you mm-hmm. you get to like unlimited, like, swipe, mm-hmm. match mm-hmm. with everybody. Mm-hmm. So, um, went on a handful of uh, dates. This is pre. This is right before the lockdown, where everything was completely like shut, shut down, shut down. Yeah. One, I think I mentioned this to you as well, but uh, I met up mm-hmm. with this older girl. Little, mm-hmm. uh, she was a, an accountant. Very, um, how I like to call it, spicy. Mm, spicy. And, <laughs> okay. Very, very um knowing what she expects in a man okay <laughs> and i'm like hella opposite man i i embrace my hella fe- like i have an alpha side to me too but uh-huh. it's like i don't live up to the standard what a guy guy or blah 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so uh we we plan this date we figure out okay I'm, I'm gonna meet you here this time so i see her after work and uh she's asian and i already noticed she has hella, her face is red, like cherry tomato. I'm like, oh shit. She's kind of already drunk already. Yeah. Like, this is great. Oh no. In a bad way. I'm not, I'm not, not in yeah. a predatory way. I'm yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then um, we, we, we figure out where to eat. We're like, we're around the, like the Olympic village area. Mm-hmm. She's already like hella touchy and all over him. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the hell is going on? Mm-hmm. And um, for me, I'm like hella indecisive. Like that's one of my weaknesses. <laughs> Cause mm. like a lot of people like being like, we we we, we gotta figure out like we're gonna eat here and here. I'm like, uh, I I don't know. Whatever you want, babe. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want. Like it just goes back and forth. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. We, we just end up walking for a minute, and then um, we we're trying to figure out a place. And I'm like, you know what? I'm sort of a troll on the first date. I like to be like my mm-hmm. authentic self. So I'm like, you know what? You figure out where to eat. <laughs> I, I I just sit down on this chair outside. I'm like, you figure out where. where Damn. <laughs> I can get it from her house. She's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> but in my head, I'm like, I'm just being, I'm just having, go- I'm like, I'm not taking it so seriously. I'm just having yeah. fun. I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm just tired. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I think that pissed her off. I took it off the, the wrong way. So I'm like, how about, okay, fine. I'll decide we're, we're, we're going to go to this restaurant right here. Okay. So mm-hmm. I'll pick. So they can stop walking around. Mm-hmm. And then after I pick, she's like, no, I actually like this one. Let's go in here instead. I'm like, you just told me. <laughs> Where to go? Yes. So you're gonna. I'm like, okay, we go there. <laughs> we we sit down. Funny thing, the uh, the thing that rem, like reminds me is like, I was wearing my ripped jeans. I'm like a hella mm. like. I have my fuck. I, I like to say I have a fuck boy outer core, but inside mm. I'm like a mama's boy. So I'm wearing these ripped <laughs> jeans. We sit down. We talk. She starts mm. like putting her fingers into the the, the slits of my <laughs> ripped jeans and touching my thighs. I'm like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see the way this is going. I'm like, eh. yes. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we have a great, we have a great time. Chat back and forth, whatever. It's going great. She, she, she like feeds me, like not, 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 not what the fuck, but like onto my plate. We can kind of cute back and forth. Mm-hmm. And um, the bill comes, and this is where the moment of change, like slow motion in the matrix. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, it's we're we're splitting this, right? Mm-hmm. And then I just see her demeanor just go from like happy, I'm like into you to like. Mm. I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> oh shit! So <laughs> crap. And then we split it, and then she goes on this rant uh-huh. about this is how you should treat a lady X Y Z. I make a hundred thousand a year, mm. and then it just kind of went downhill from there. Mm-hmm. Very traumatic on my end, cause like right after a breakup, I'm like, what the hell have I got myself into? <laughs> And uh, the TLDR, um, we end up going to get boba. Uh-huh. 
and she li- she leaves midway through boba with her drink half drank mm-hmm. that I have paid for because I felt guilty. <laughs> She calls the Uber, mm-hmm. leave, leaves the boba place. Mm-hmm. I'm here with two things of boba yeah. by myself. Yeah. Everyone in the, the place sees her leave. And I'm just here. I'm like, okay. I pick up both the bobas, throw it in the trash, and I go on my own merry way. I'm like, that was so fucking... <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And that Dang. was my... my uh, Literally my second ever... Uh, date on these mm. apps so yeah that was my worst wow. date and ever since then i always always fact check i'm like hey so what's your opinion on guys <laughs> <laughs> and the first it'll swing the bill but mm. but but now that I'm, i i look back i understand that mm-hmm. girls have expectations of what a man should be mm. and guys also have that and it's good to have your like your checklist mm. and it's just because that i didn't match yours i didn't need to like shame myself or not be like that's just her rule which is fine like you're you're in your own rule I'm in my world. Mm-hmm. You ain't the person for me. I don't take it personally, and I'm just gonna mm-hmm. walk my mare own way. But uh, mm-hmm. it gets a little bit more juicier because my dumbass was like, "Hey, maybe she." I was having a d- bad day. We decided to go for <laughs> go <laughs> go meet up for the second time. I'm like, "Why am I such a fucking idiot?" But um, yeah, <laughs> I can make a whole podcast on this. But um, let's sounds uh, <laughs> pretty interesting. <laughs> sounds like an experience, actually, though. Like she ended up uh, like the TLDR is like she ended up putting me on to, to, to the test yeah she, she wanted a shit test me so she's like we're gonna get i'm gonna get this wine and order this and this uh-huh. and i actually no i'm not gonna get it that's that's too hella fucking traumatic let's <laughs> let's just say i got threatened <laughs> with the freaking <laughs> i got threatened to like with a wine glass with wine getting dumped all over me but anyways whoa crazy girls whoa. on here <laughs> mm-hmm. okay i have another question then okay saying, like have you kept in contact with people like yeah. on the apps? Uh, yeah. So I I have dated people mm. for like let's say a month, and it just kind of just dies off, or like them breaking up with me, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, I did not see that coming. But I'm like, whatever. Mm. And um, there are like on and on again and off again, but it, I have not like found to, to answer your question with another question. Mm. Um, I haven't found like. For my intentions is like I was looking for like a partner because everyone wants like that person. Mm. But I'm gonna ask you a question: Is um, do you think it's possible to find love? Like on apps or just in- yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's possible. I mean, like maybe for certain people, like from your experience journey- though, from okay, your specific. From okay, for me so far, <laughs> can't go happy woo woo about. <laughs> We're talking about like your 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 specific experiences, and you can like yeah. extra- extrapolate that to. Uh, do you think you're looking to love in the right places? Mm, okay, mm-hmm. uh, so far I feel like the apps haven't really been beneficial for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also think yeah, like a part of it is like there's things that I wanted, like I needed to work on in myself. I mean, because like yes, you can find love pretty much anywhere unexpectedly but i just feel like where Speaking I, of, oh yeah, just like yeah. wait um i i have this reoccurring like uh thing where it's like dude it's easier than hell to get laid nowadays like more than mm-hmm. ever because of the mm-hmm. pandemic but mm-hmm. it's even harder as hell to find like true connection mm, for sure like mm-hmm. yeah like with apps i don't know it just feels like everyone just wants something so instant so quick like especially yeah. with social media right yeah. um and yeah i feel like Sometimes I'd sense that already that we're not on the same page. Like if I talk mm-hmm. to someone, like they already just want, yeah, like a hookup pretty quick, like the vibes that come off of it. And I'm Let not. Me, what, what, what's, what's, what's the process? Like what's the worst message that you're like, oh, this guy just wants to like just get down? <laughs> um, like, I mean, like, you know, like the usual, like, like what are you doing? Like late at night or like, like, um, are you Wait, in on bed? the app or did you? Yeah. Like, okay. Wait, app, what? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Like what? <laughs> like what? You're like no, yeah. not even what you doing. Like W I D. Yeah, W I D, and then the eye, the side eye emoji thing. As the fucking like, opener. Yeah, yeah, it ha- it's happened. It happened a few times, and I'm like, y'all are pretty bold. <laughs> you don't even know, like, if we if we're like on the same page, but yeah. that's pretty bold of you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I don't know if that answers the question. Um, what was the question? <laughs> I think we're just. Riffing off back and forth, uh, we yeah. can go on to, uh, I have my, 
little list here. Okay. So the next part is not necessarily a question, but I'm going to give my little insight and see if you have any feedback on this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So for me, I think what I've learned after like a year on these apps is like I'm giving so much of my, like maybe it's different from like a female and male's perspective, but for me, I feel like whenever I chase love, it's like I'm attracting like the wrong energy where it's like if in, in, in my life, the more I chase, the more I'm going to find this girl that's like already like has other matches or like she's talking to other dudes. And it's like in all my own relationships, I actually look back. I'm like, OK, with my ex, with my ex. And then just looking back at all my relationships, I'm like, those are the ones that I didn't really like seek out, so, like try to like play game or spit my game and be like who this yeah. is who I am it's like they've come naturally into my life when I was like focus, focusing on like me and like focusing on my shit and that's when like girls like God or Buddha or like Vish whoever you believe in like mm-hmm. aligns these people into my yeah. life and like we kind of click like that I'm like oh shit that's mm-hmm. where it happens and I feel like the more I use these apps the more I'm trying to like prove to myself like hey I like you're hot on these pictures maybe this is a potential girl for and or xyz mm-hmm. and i feel like i'm losing myself and my own confidence of my own self-worth through these apps in comparison where it's like okay fuck these apps i'm gonna delete these apps and i'm just gonna constantly love myself and like yes i gotta put myself out there but maybe not so on these apps and just mm-hmm. constantly focus on myself and I'm, it's kind of it seems kind of counterintuitive where it's like focusing less on dating and more myself is gonna like seclude you and isolate you but it actually does the opposite yeah no so I get, actually get totally your thoughts on that, that little sh- my little motivational rant. no I totally agree <laughs> um I feel like for the like most of like my life I always thought like yeah. you gotta look for it like it's like the, the it person and yeah. all these things like you time's like, ticking you know <laughs> yeah like it's like if you want to be married before 30 yada 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 like all these like expectations I'm setting on myself I'm like I should have met <laughs> So you know, married at thirty, you know I'm 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 old as fuck because I'm like a, I used to watch all the OG YouTubers and now the OG yeah. YouTubers are popping out kids. I'm like mm, man, mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. I, 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 and I and I'm here still single. I'm like shit, man. What, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? No, I totally get it. Um, like yeah, like yeah. we all just kind of set these like timelines, like when we need to find these people or like find mm-hmm. the right person. And I totally agree. Like especially like just recently like yeah um like in january i was kind of like starting to realize like maybe i should stop using these apps just because yeah. again like i'm like really like stretching for it. like i'm really like thinking that i need to put effort out here to like yeah. get, like find someone but then yeah all i'm really fully maybe attracting is like people are like maybe un- emotionally unavailable or just yeah. we're not clicking and it's just like they fall short of what feels like it could be more you know what i mean yeah. like when, um so yeah I was like okay maybe I need to step back because like usually you attract who you are right yeah and if anything also the people you attract they're also mirrors of you right so I was like okay if I'm constantly dealing with these type of people or like if, if they're all kind of like well like meh if that in that sense like yeah. okay let's step back and like figure out wait did you just diss yourself there <laughs> <laughs> It's so cheesy yourself. it's true but you you, you gotta love yeah. yourself you gotta you can't just like yeah. post it on instagram and be like yeah i love my, like mm-hmm. you gotta fucking love yourself yeah because mm-hmm. then yeah again like you track those type of people around you and it'll be mirrored back to you at some point it's, mm-hmm. it's a tough pill to swallow mm-hmm. sometimes i know some people might not agree with that but i feel like that's what's been happening mm-hmm. for me and that and i totally agree with mm-hmm. you that you t- if you step back like mm-hmm. if anything they'll track the right person mm-hmm. at the right time <laughs> Like I, I, I can also like be on camera and say that, but at the same time I've deleted it and then like re- <laughs> like installed the app again. And it's like, it, it's, okay. it's that need to like have connection of like, mm, fuck man, if mm-hmm. we're in the pandemic, I can't really talk yeah. to anybody. And it's like, how, it's hard. How, how do you put yourself out there? Like, the, like the, the thing is with these apps, I've seen motherfucking everybody on these apps from my, mm. my, my neighbor to like my friends, my ex, my mm-hmm. ex and my ex i'm like dude everybody's on these apps man yes mm-hmm. especially now yes. so <laughs> if they weren't before like yeah. you're seeing everybody. everybody's now it's like you realize holy shit there's a lot of single ass people in vancouver mm-hmm. and it's like i think we're all just wanting that connection and like that person but it's like there's also that the kind of like have, have you read of this book called uh what you call it it's by this com- comedian aziz ansari 
but uh the whole premise of the the book is like um it, it's like having the 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 theory of choice right mm -hmm. and it's like it's like you go to a ice cream shop right and there's only three flavors mm -hmm. in comparison to let's say you go down to chinatown you, you have the international village whatever you have that 251 ice cream shop mm -hmm. so that's like it's the same with dating so the more choice you is there is the more likely you are to like just like pass people off you like objectify people mm -hmm. in comparison to let's say you only have five matches on your dating app that's it that's all you ever get you're more likely mm -hmm. to invest your time into let's say to make it work and i think no that's true mm -hmm. and, and i think with the general direction of like how online dating is going it's like it's kind of fucked <laughs> I don't know if it's very pe pessimistic, but I, I think for, like, my view, it's, like, I've kind of, like, given up for it for now. Like, it's fun to, like, chat to people. No offense, Jamie, you're a great person. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to diss? I think I've, I've met some great people, but it's, like, date like dating with online. It's just, I don't know. It's it, me, but I'm, like, old school. I want to, like, meet someone through my own life and, like, yeah. chemistry and, like, uh, I don't know. I've, I've, I've kind of just given up on the whole online dating scene like yourself as mm -hmm. well right <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no i agree like it'll happen when it's meant to yeah. like if you feel like you know if there's people out there that you're talking to already yeah. and like it happens to work out yeah. down the road then great but like again like just working on yourself that's the best thing you can do for mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's also tricky though because like how the dating dynamics work because mm -hmm. call me out if this is a sexist but like if girls work on themselves and they like X Y Z, they they don't really put themselves out there. Guys will still come at you and holler. Whereas uh, if a guy is like, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on myself and I never put myself mm. out there, I will be alone forever. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. Like I feel like the right people would yeah. like approach. You know, mm -hmm. like if a guy is working on themselves, mm -hmm. I think sure there's gonna be people like girls yeah. that will be like yeah, i don't think i will because he seems to be pretty good mm -hmm. but it's like it also comes like from their confidence too so it shows like where they're at mm -hmm. if that makes sense so like maybe it won't be as many people mm -hmm. like because then again it shows like the mirroring of like mm -hmm. okay where they're at like i'm not at that but you'll like attract the right people so it's like i think the, yeah, like if anything, why 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 do I suddenly feel like like you you flip this and you became my 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 therapist that you're advising me <laughs> that I'm not gonna be forever alone? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, it feels very comforting. <laughs> but yeah, I think, but yeah, like I mean, if it's less people, so be it. Because then you're saying right, like mm -hmm. you invest in more people, so there's like like less of them mm -hmm. rather than having the whole options. So like. Yeah, the right mm -hmm. one, like the right people will be attracted to you and they'll make the effort to like, mm -hmm. it's hard, mm -hmm. especially like when you like know your worth and all that, yeah. like, and you've been working on yourself you're like, yeah, like there's been so much progress since last year. Yeah. Or whatever. I think everybody like if, if like come, coming out of this whole quarantine pandemic situation, it's like one mm -hmm. thing I've learned, I want to ask this for you as well as like, I've learned mm -hmm. to be alone after being in like a two year toxic relationship. I really learned to like mm -hmm. be alone and I realized what I was so afraid of was not actually like breaking up, but like being alone. Mm -hmm. Like it's a different feeling where it's like, oh, you wake up next to somebody versus like waking up to yourself. Like, uh, like yeah, yeah, it's true. Like I've been like single, like properly single for a while, like a long time. Do you, like, do you want to plug your, your Insta? I'm like if you want to slide in oh. Jamie's D. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll link it, I'll link it, I'll link okay. it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Yeah, you can slide in yeah, and DM. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I feel like even though I've been single, yeah. I've not like let myself sit with the idea of being alone. Like, mm -hmm. because I've always been wanting to look for someone maybe to fulfill me or like make me happy. But that, of course, doesn't come from another person. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, just being afraid that what if I actually end up alone, like mm -hmm. in general. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've been more at peace. Like it's taken so long and I feel at this point where I am in my life yeah. like it clicks now like okay like like I actually do love myself like I am worthy of having amazing things I'm worthy of having like the love that I want right um but like you know and being okay with being alone yeah. like truly enjoying my my time with myself and and that's okay <laughs> you know 
So I, I get it. I totally get it. Like it's hard sitting like like listening to your own thoughts like that shit like can be overwhelming. But that's where you actually find the answers mm-hmm. too. So yeah, facts. It's. It's like good for you because like not a lot of people are able to sit with that feeling because like a, a lot of those negative emotions like we run away from it like we we use like dating apps we use substances mm-hmm. we use like mm-hmm. social media to run away from that feeling and mm-hmm. even for me I think I have like a social media addiction where it's like I'm scrolling and 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 it's like ultimately what it's doing it's like it's running away from my own thoughts and like that feeling of aloneness. And the answer is Mm -hmm. not to seek it externally, but be able to sit with that emotion and like look into it. It's like, why do I feel alone? Like, what is that feeling? Is is that, is that that feeling of like not being loved enough, like not being good enough? Yeah. Like, Mm -hmm. and then you have, and then you backtrack a bit. I'm like, where, where does that come from? And does that come from my childhood? Oh shit. Mm -hmm. It it comes from that. My, my first breakup where I was like cheated on and I I never Mm -hmm. processed that X, Y, Z. It's like, Mm -hmm. you know, work your Mm -hmm. shit out. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah like again like with like what you do end up attracting yeah. like you're gonna find the right people yeah. like especially when you work on yourself yeah. because you clear out that trauma you clear out those things um to make space for it because right now maybe like at that time or not not now but i guess in this, those moments when i'd be more like i don't want to be alone right yeah. now like i want to keep kind of swiping just to yeah feel like I'm filling a void but it's like really I that, like work. I need that validation I need someone to just want to yeah. <laughs> tell me I'm cute okay tell me I'm yeah wanted. right <laughs> mm-hmm. like when people swipe yeah. right and you get that notification you're like oh my god okay so I am great yeah, like I, I mean like... I do look great right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like that only that's makes you dangerous happy. though that's dangerous <laughs> it really is and you just keep wanting to see it more yeah. it's like okay great like i really am the shit y'all yeah. are telling me i am the shit yeah. so i, I yeah. believe it now because yeah. you told me yeah. but yeah so crazy stuff yeah but but uh life. <laughs> i think i think we're gonna end it off on there okay okay and uh thanks thanks jamie for uh, coming on to my uh podcast thanks it was fun it was thank fun you <laughs> and uh yeah guys that's a wrap so um after this uh first initial day would you like to uh meet up in person and uh see how it goes oh, yes. okay.